Another space company is looking to fly into orbit this weekend. Blue Origin will be launching its new Glenn rocket after more than 10 years of development. Sunday's scheduled launch of the 320-foot-tall rocket is Blue Origin's first attempt at reaching orbit. A successful test flight could open several doors for the company as it aims to launch satellites and payloads for the U.S. government, NASA, and other commercial companies. It would also gain Blue Origin some ground in the space race it's currently losing to rival company SpaceX, which launched its own Falcon 9 rocket Friday afternoon. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood joins us now from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. For more on what all of this means, Bill, always great to chat with you. We know that this launch has been delayed several times. So why is it, why is that delay something that happened? And is Blue Origin expecting a success flight Sunday? What are the chances? Well, first of all, the delays, I think, are fairly routine, given this is the maiden flight of this rocket. It's a very big, very complicated rocket. They want to make sure they get it right. And then more recently, they were ready to launch this thing late last week. Uh, but, you know, they're going to try to recover that first stage with landing on a, on a big barge out in the Atlantic Ocean, named after Jeff Bezos' mother, Jacqueline. Uh, and they want good seas for that. The weather has been rough, so they just delayed the launch uh, a little bit, another couple of days to this weekend. Uh, but, you know, in terms of their confidence level, you know, you really never know how this is going to go until you light it up and launch it. You can test all you want on the ground, but there's no duplicating the space environment, the launch environment. Uh, they're confident that they've done everything they can do, but now they've got to wait and see, you know, the proof's in the pudding. They've got to launch it. Yeah, I love that with all the math and science, space exploration still needs a little bit of luck. But what would a successful flight mm -hmm. mean for the future of Blue Origin? Well, you know, you mentioned SpaceX at the top of this. You know, they dominate the commercial launch market right now. Uh, the launch we had earlier today was there's more than 300 of these things have, you know, flown to date. It's a very successful program. Uh, but Blue Origin, with the new Glenn, hopes to at least make some inroads. They've got a lot of uh, customers committed to riding on their rocket. And, of course, just like SpaceX is with their Starlink system, uh, Amazon has a space-based Internet system called Kuiper, that's going to launch on the new Glenn and several other rockets as well. Uh, so the rocket's got a lot of customers backed up, waiting to go. If they can make this work and prove it's reliable, then I think they will be able to make some inroads on SpaceX, uh, certainly in the government arena with military satellites and NASA payloads. But SpaceX also continues to expand. The company launched more Starlink satellites into orbit on Friday. It's gearing up for a test flight of its Starship mega rocket on Monday. What is its end goal for that rocket? Well, you know, the Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, says that the super heavy Starship is the company's future. Hmm. It is a gigantic rocket, as you said, the most powerful rocket ever built. The seventh test flight of this rocket is coming up. And, you know, if you recall back in October, they actually captured the first stage with these giant mechanical arms on the yeah. launch pad. Very dramatic. But that's the key to this. They, it's a fully reusable rocket, both the lower and upper stages. And if they can perfect that, uh, that's going to revolutionize space travel, possibly. Uh, but they've got a long way to go yet. Uh, you know, we're still in the test flight phase. Uh, they haven't brought the second stage down to a landing yet. So we're going to have to see how all that goes. But, you know, they make steps, they make strides with every one of these launches, and they're hoping to do the same uh, this week. Uh, a few quick final questions for you, Bill. What time is that launch on Monday? Because I'm going to want to tune in. And can you give us an update on NASA astronauts <laughs> Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams? Absolutely on both counts. You know, they want to be able to land the upper stage of the Starship Super Heavy in the Indian Ocean in daylight. So they're going to be launching around 5 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time from Boca Chica, Texas, down on the Gulf Coast. And as for Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, um, you know, they took off on that flight that was supposed to last eight days or so, and they're still up there. They're not coming home down until the end of March. The NASA administrator interviewed them uh, earlier this week. He asked them... Uh, would you please, you know, end all this talk about being in stranded in space and how are you doing and all of that? Uh, and they were very animated. They said they're doing well. They have plenty of clothes, plenty of food. They do want to get back to see their families, uh, but, but they're enjoying their stay in space. So they said they certainly looked relaxed enough. Uh, that's good to hear. It reminds me of what was that old show, uh, Gilligan's Island? It was supposed to be a three Gilligan's hour Island. That's right. tour. Uh, for folks of a certain age, Bill Hall. You know, I was going to use that. It, I, <laughs> yeah, I was no, going to use that in a story, but people said they wouldn't remember it. Oh, no, I, I, I'm with you, Bill. Those Gilligan's references are always gold. <laughs> Great to chat with you. Please enjoy your weekend. There you go. <laughs> Thank you.